back with another video. Um, it's kind of early for me because um, Christmas break. So I don't know why I be, I've been waking up all around 11 o'clock. But trying to get this video out there. So this video is um called. This video is called. What happens if you decline being drafted inside into the the um war? Let's get into it. December 9th in 1957, and a young man receives a military draft notice calling him to serve in the United States Army. At 22 years old, he has a promising future ahead of him, and at such a young age, he's already successful. But he knows that his career will have to be put to the side, as this draft notice is not a request to serve, but an order. It may be hard to imagine, but this young man was none other than Elvis Presley, who served in the U.S. Army for nearly three years before being honorably discharged and continuing one of the most famous music careers in history. But what would have happened if Elvis stood up to the U.S. Army in 1957 and threw away his draft notice to continue his music career? What if you received a draft notice today and didn't answer the call to duty? In this episode of the Infographic Show... You know what's weird? You know what's weird? Everybody who was famous is in the war. Where is Elvis Presley? I didn't know that. Uh, or, what's his name? The famous old boxer. Um... Sugar Ray Robinson, he was in the war. Everybody's just basically in the war. I guess it was a thing back then. So we explore the question, what happens if you dodge the draft? Let's travel back to the 1950s when the draft was still being implemented and millions of men like the King of Rock were subject to being called up. Following a few short years of peace after the end of World War II, the U.S. found itself embroiled in another international conflict commonly referred to as the Korean War. While a passive military draft was in effect, the United States government was on edge as international threats felt closer to home thanks to nuclear weapons. This is one reason why the United States government felt it necessary to ramp up their efforts in increasing the size of the military. It's no surprise then that Congress passed the Universal Military Training and Service Act in 1951, which required all men aged 18 to 26 to register for the draft. For men that didn't even want to serve in the military in the first place, being pulled away against their will was incredibly terrifying. Can you imagine leaving home and halting your life at the demand of the U.S. government? Even someone as famous as Elvis Presley, despite passionate protests from his fans, could not escape this requirement. As a result, according to the U.S. Justice Department, over 80,000 men attempted to dodge the draft from 1950 to 1953 during the Korean War. But it wasn't until the Vietnam War in the 60s that dodging the draft became well documented and increasingly punished. According to Global Research... I see something wrong with that. They sending you to your death. But, um, since they talking about World War III, um, I guess, I guess when push comes to stuff, they'll do the same thing. But, all these means about going to war, I mean, it's jokes, but it's not really gonna happen unless people start dying a lot, a lot, a lot. Because that was 1950s. It's like 2020 now. Yeah, with the will has changed. A lot of people in the army now too, so it don't even make no sense. I don't even know why I care, cause I'm not even American. I'm from the Bahamas. Over 570,000 men were classified as draft offenders by the U.S. Justice Department during the 1960s when the Vietnam War became increasingly unpopular. To put that number into perspective, that's basically the entire population of Wyoming. It's important to keep in mind, though, that of those 570,000 men, only 210,000 were formally accused of dodging the draft. And of those 210,000, only 3,250 men were jailed. That means that less than 2% of accused draft dodgers were significantly punished according to these statistics. That seems like an awfully low percentage when you consider that dodging the draft is classified as a felony crime. In fact, you'd have better odds of being asked to come on down on The Price is Right. So why does it seem like the consequences of dodging the draft are so low? It turns out that there are many creative ways to dodge the draft and avoid doing the time for the crime. According to researchers, some of those men drafted to serve the U.S. military in the Vietnam War avoided service through a number of outrageous but perfectly legal means, including emigrating to Canada, purposefully failing their physicals, and even becoming missionaries. In fact, in what was possibly a regrettable interview for the free press, American singer Ted Nugent allegedly admitted that he stopped all 
personal hygiene and made sure to urinate and defecate on himself before his physical just to avoid serving in the Vietnam War. Can you imagine being the physician that had to examine him? Perhaps unsurprisingly, his stunt allegedly worked. According to Nugent in this interview, he was successfully able to defer his service. While he probably made a physician second-guess their career choices, perhaps it was for the best that Nugent didn't serve in the Vietnam War. As he's reported to have said, the men who went should be applauded, but if I would have gone over there, I'd have been killed, or I'd have killed all the hippies in the foxholes. I would have killed everybody. It is worth noting that the facts behind this story are extremely controversial, but if true, this would definitely make for one of the most interesting draft dodging stories in U.S. history. Like Ted Nugent's story, we'll never... They really was trying to get everybody in the war. I see why everybody was in the war, because they had to be. But, um, let me, uh, touch bases on when I said I didn't really care. I mean, draft-wise, like, I'm not getting draft because of my situation. That's what I meant when I meant I didn't care, but let's get back in the video. Never truly know the full extent to which men dodged the draft, but needless to say, men were highly motivated to do just about anything to avoid serving in the military or- Hey, listen, if they get in draft, if they, they draft in people, you know, I vote to be in Iran, I vote to be in Iran. You know, if there's internet, I'll take up with pictures. Wow, wow. Be here, baby. Be here. But, um, that's basically the end of the video. Because they're just talking now who didn't go. And they already said what you had to do. What is basically common sense. If you're, if you don't have an arm, you can't go. If you're sick, your hygiene isn't good. Your head ain't good. Can't go. So, basically... That's the end of the video. I'll be coming up with next um, couple more videos today or tomorrow. But there will be videos coming out. Peace.